All right, let's do this. We're going live. We're doing it live. I'm going to pop out the chat room. Today we got a little bit of surprise. So we're doing off-grid cooking today. So that's something a little bit new. And I made this song last night. I made uh, probably four or five songs. Actually, I made it. Yeah, I think I made this one last night. So I'm opening the chat. So give me a second so I can see everybody. And then we're going to get to cooking. Songs. Actually, I made it. Yep. Yeah, there we go. That's working. I'm going to pop the chat out. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And we're going to pop out chat. Boom. Now we got a nice, happy, long chat. And we are going to rock and roll. All right. So can you hear the music in the background? Pretty decent. Is it? Is the mic okay? I'm using my high dollar camera, my daily driver, my $250 camera that I bought two or three years ago instead of my $70 one that I would use another day. So my Mi Cam is an upgrade and the monitors are upgraded. I got one swoop across there instead of stuff all up and down and this is the only one that's off the plane. So we got Red Cactus, G-Gab, we got Tammy, Red, DD, Hot Dam, Crystal Star, Monica, uh, see the Zero Squad and Sun Honey. All right, so let's get over here. Let me show what we're gonna do. So first of all, we're gonna be cooking in the air fryer today and this is a Ninja does not sponsor this. I'm not sponsored by, nobody sponsors me. So we're gonna be cut, making the best home cut fries that you've ever had with bacon in this off grid with the generator. So we're gonna be using generator power and the power is gonna be coming in on this cord right here. We are gonna to have to go fire up the generator once I get the stuff prepped. So let's get over here and get stuff prepped. And we're gonna be using this bacon right here, the sugar-free uncured bacon. And we're going to peel the potatoes and get that ready. So let's do this. And this butter is gonna be for something else. If we're gonna do a dessert, I got a surprise dessert today. All right, so here we go. So type one in the chat if the music level is not overdoing it on the voice. I just don't want the music to be overpowering what I'm saying. I made this last night um, with um, Cakewalk, the version that works on your phone in a tablet. It's called Band Labs now. So if you want to make music for your streams, check out Band Labs, still Cakewalk. One, okay, so it sounds okay. So I made some funky beats, some background stuff. I really don't like the vocals in it because it could be conflicting with what I'm saying, but it's kind of muted enough and you really can't understand what they're saying anyway. So the trick to cutting fries here on Friday is moving stuff out of your way. All right, so here's what I do. So, so you, you can also hurt yourself really bad in the kitchen. So when you're cutting fries, if you got a nice russet like this, cut it in half. That way you have a base to cut down on. So this is how I cut my home fries. I just do like that and I do a checker pattern. So right there, right there, and right there. That's good. And I'll do the same thing here. So you got the flat bottom. And you just do that number right there. You want your home fries to be a, a little thicker than the, the ones you get at the uh, fast food restaurants. Because remember, we're not going for crispy here. We're going for healthiness and taste. So there we go. Now let's go over here and get our happy little air fryer and get this prepped. Now here's where the magic happens. I've never seen anybody do this before. That's why I wanted to share this. Let's see, is that good? Which one has the better camera angle? This one will work. All right, so this comes with the air fryer. It has this little thing on the bottom. So you leave that in there. 
all right? And we put our taters right on top, okay? Boy, these are gonna be good. I can't wait to eat these. So if you, if you have a generator and an air fryer, you can make this, or grid power, obviously. And I'll get to the chat as soon as this starts cooking. So give me a second, I'm gonna go back and read the chat. So that's what you're looking at right there. Now here's the trick. Now, we're gonna give it a little bit of a love with a little bit of, we're gonna use two types of pepper. We're gonna use the regular fine ground pepper on top of the fries, just a little bit here. All right. And then we're gonna put our bacon down. And the bacon we're putting down, we're dropping this bacon down on here, like the beets. Now you want to defrost your bacon. Another pro tip, when you get your bacon, put it in the deep freeze right away. And you can cut it in half. So use half of it. When you cut it in half with a knife, you can break it over really easy and then it'll just pop right out. And then what you do is you fold it back over on itself, wrap a paper towel around it if you want, and boom. You got it where it's not going bad. So that's a little tech tip there. So with the bacon, you wanna make sure it's defrosted so you don't have to sit there and do that. And we're just gonna lay it right on top. Real nice and happy. This takes a little bit. I don't know if I have my music player set to go to the next track, but we're gonna find out. If not, I'll start singing. <laughs> not. Oh, so how does the microphone sound today compared to the last stream? Um, does it sound any different than the old phone I was using the other day? And you don't want these overlapping. So I'm going to wash my hands. And um, I'm going to do a little knuckle action here. I'm going to go wash my hands. Because I've been handling bacon. So I'm just curious, is the audio consistent? Um, let me look at my levels behind me. Test, test, test. Yeah, it looks like it's decent. All right, cool. So it's going to the next song. Yeah, I was up till two in the morning making music last night. I know. That's pathetic. And I have an art project for all those peanut butter jars I'm saving, by the way. But that'll be another stream. All right, so we are not going to cross contaminate anything. Let's get back over here. And now, so you got your bacon down there on top of your home fries. Now, I like to put this uh, cracked pepper on top of the bacon. So we're going to do a little bit of that. I don't salt anything until I'm done cooking. Because salt generally pulls out moisture when you don't want it to. So we're going to give it a happy little layer of bacon here. And I see a lot of people chatting to me. I'm going to get to the chat as soon as this starts cooking. So just give me a second. All right, so we're going to sprinkle a happy little dose of uh, cracked pepper on top of our bacon. You want to get it all even as much as you can. And then the real trick comes up next. You can't forget this step. All right, so that's what we've got here. That's what we're working with. The home pet fries are on the bottom. We've got a layer of bacon. And then the key is to take this thing that people normally put on the bottom like that, or like that, put it on top of the bacon and just give it a little bit of a press, not much, just not much, just to kind of flatten the bacon. And that way it keeps the bacon flat and it won't curl up. Because if you don't use that, the bacon's gonna curl up and move around and the air fryer has a vortex, like a tornado in there. And it'll move the bacon around and it just doesn't cook consistent. And that way all the bacon grease cooks evenly on top of the home fries. So let's go over here and get the, uh, the situation going here. So now we're gonna go out and start the generator because we don't have any power, see? It's not on. So let's go see if the generator starts. 
because um, that thing hasn't been started since the uh, ice storm. And I run ethanol free fuel in my generator. I'm pretty sure I got plenty. I haven't even checked. So I haven't prepped for this, by the way. So this is all, we're doing this live. What you see is what you get. I have not prepared the generator. It hasn't been started since the ice storm. So this is definitely uh, reality TV right here for sure. <laughs> and this is how I keep the generator covered with a uh, old, it's starting to sprinkle. Let's see if we got gas. Yep, we got a full tank. All right, you never want to start your generator under a load. So we're gonna do full choke. And I left the gas on on purpose because I uh, just doing a test. So I'm gonna do some slow pulls. I don't want it to start right away. I wanna get the, the, the oil circulating. So I don't want it to start. So I'm doing some slow, even. And then I'll let you know when I want it to start. That should be lubed up enough, don't you think? All right, so we're gonna start it in this pull right here. Cooking off grid now. That was a that was a good sign. So with air fryers, um, this is kind of something I've learned. And we're still live. Yeah, rock and roll. All right. So don't worry about the temperature. Always cook at the highest temperature. So how you work these air fryers is. It asks you to do the temperature first, always do 400. And then I always do 20 minutes with this. So 400 degrees, temperature's all the way up. That's why it's, you're not guessing. It's always on air fryer mode and 20 minutes. There you go. So we're gonna hit start. We'll hear the generator pull down a little bit. You know, we got generator power when this is lit up. And this thing I've already tested, it pulls about 1,395 watts. I have all my equipment marked as far as my uh, power budget, so I know what I can run on what type of inverter or generator. So I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands real quick again, because I did get a little dirty out there. And then we'll get back to, uh, I'm going to read the chat, and we might start making our dessert. Um, because... See, I turned on the living room light, but it shows the uh, spot behind my head that I don't like. All right, so let's get over here and read the chat here. All right, so the generator's rocking and rolling. We got new music that I made in the background. I'm just looking at my levels. My levels are right here. They're looking pretty good. I'm going to scroll back up to the chat. We got 30 people on a Friday. That's not too bad. Let's see, we got uh, Red Cactus, Crystal Star, Monica, and we got Double Deuce. We got Yellow Rose 62. Fry Irish Butter is the bomb. Yes, it is Double Deuce. We got Cal, DD, Janice M, Chaplin, Chris, Moon Over Miami. All right, let me know if the stream buffers. And if you're watching this, make sure you set your YouTube settings to 1080p because I'm streaming out at 1080p. So if it doesn't look clear, check your settings. Hit that little gear. Make sure you're set to 1080p, not, not anything lower. All right. We got Zed in the chat. We got Kelly's Crafting. And I was watching her stream the whole time and working on getting the stream live. We got Gary Smith. And that's good. All right. So we got... Uh, 31 people watching now, that's great. Not bad on a Friday. So I'm gonna make a little bit of a, a experimental dessert that I haven't made before. I, I know I was telling people I wanted to do this and I just never got around to it. So what it's gonna consist of is 
We're gonna do a little bit of organic cacao. We're gonna do, yeah, and do your best not to um, participate in the big corporate food people. And we're gonna have also my, my normal go-tos is honey and real peanut butter. I'm holding it up to the camera without a switch. I like that. First camera fill, so red tag me red. So we're gonna use these as a base. And what I'm gonna make is, it's gonna be almost like a Reese's Pieces. That's my idea. So my idea is to take and put on the bottom of the bowl here, on the bottom of this bowl, I'm gonna have peanut butter. And I don't know how I'm gonna prep it yet. And then I'm going to, but I might make it backwards, I don't know. And then I'm gonna make this chocolate icing thing to go on the top. So I might have to involve two bowls here, which I don't want to. I like to make my desserts where I'm not dirtying up a whole bunch of stuff, but I'm just gonna experiment. This will be the first time I've ever made this, but, oh, look at this. We gotta go fix that. We can't have a, a fry just running around. That's called a freedom fry when they're not in there when they're supposed to. We're just gonna chunk that one on top and show you what happens. So here's what we got right now. Here's what we're looking at. Let's put a little light on the subject. It's looking good. So yeah, this is just right, on, right off the top of my head here. I was figuring out I need to make a dessert that's a little bit different than normal. So we're gonna do that. All right, so we got Yellow Rose all for his kingdom. Fry, me and Bree are, and June are here. Uh, Jared, give Bree a big hug for me. So yeah, give Bree a big hug. It's been a while since I've all been able to watch. I made this song last night too. All right, let's get back to our dessert. Yeah, I've been busy making music and stuff for the stream. So let's see, how do we want to do this? Um, let's see, let's make our, uh, I'm really gonna need two bowls for this, but I don't want the peanut butter to be sweet. So I want the icing to be sweet on top. So we're gonna put peanut butter down first. And there we go. I just got back from the meeting. They said put peanut butter down first. That's what we're doing. So. And the thing is, is I want to use the residual heat to melt because what I'm gonna do is melt butter to make the icing. So we're gonna have a layer, this is gonna be the bottom layer here of our Reese's Pieces. It's basically gonna be like a Reese's Pieces, but it's gonna be homemade. So we're gonna layer that on the bottom there, nice and happy, little layer. Yeah, I like this little funky tune I made last night too. So if you don't know, some people know, I have a sound system in my bed with the subwoofers and everything. It's a, it's a pretty cool setup. And um, I have a bass shaker as well. So it produces, it shakes the bed with the bass. So I have a real sub and I have a bass shaker. And when I'm making my music, I can tell the beats perfectly because the bed moves just like a, a bass would be shaking you, like major bass, almost. All right, so now we got a nice little layer. And we're gonna have to wait until the home fries are cooked to melt our butter. But we're gonna go ahead and pre-stage it in a different bowl. I need to find another one of these bowls. Um, I used to have two. I don't know what happened to the other one. All right, so that's gonna be the base. We're not gonna do anything to that. It already has salt, and remember, this is peanut butter that just has salt in it. There's no canola oils, no seed oils added. That stuff is dangerous. So I would highly recommend to just get eat peanut butter, not peanut butter spread. Peanut butter spread has all the bad stuff in it. Real peanut butter has the good stuff, just peanut butter and salt. All right, I'm gonna put the lid on this. 
And I'm going to put it back in the fridge because I will eat whatever's left over out of there as a little snack one day. So that's what I do with that. We still have some leftover venison and hamburger meat and stuff that I need to work on too. All right, so now we need to find a happy little bowl. Actually, what we can do is we can heat that in here. So we'll heat the butter in here. We'll make our chocolate and butter mixture in this. And see, what I'm gonna do is when the air fryer is done cooking, I'm just gonna stick that in there and the residual heat will heat the butter up. I, uh, I was so busy, I didn't get a chance to thaw out my butter. So this is still pretty cold, but we're gonna make this work. All right, so let's not do a, a camera switch fail. Let's get this thing going here. I need a camera person. Anybody wanna to volunteer to be a camera guy, a girl? <laughs> yeah. Cooking streams take a lot of prep, especially if you're still building out your studio. Oh, I'm going to be uploading some shorts. And uh, the shorts are going to show my new upgrades that I did today. So remember how I had monitors just everywhere and there was slow, I mean low resolution. I had a small low resolution monitor there and a, uh, a small low resolution. Now these are all the same resolution monitors all the way across. And then I have this one over here for the overall picture. So there's a little behind the scenes, what I've been working on. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut off just enough butter to make our icing. So my theory is, is I'm going to take butter and honey and honey, and I'm going to mix that with cacao. And that's going to be the icing. So I'm doing my best to eat. If I'm going to make a candy, it's going to be something that's not going to be harming me. How much butter do we want? Because I'm gonna probably eat this all in one setting. That's good enough. What do you think? Yeah, that'll work. So that should work, and then we're gonna put honey on top of that, and then cacao powder, and that's that'll be a glaze across the top. That should work. Yeah. Now, we're gonna take our happy little spoon we're getting low on honey. I'm gonna have to tap into a new jar pretty soon. So this honey is the best honey I've ever had. Madaba honey, it's been tested for 130 different toxic chemicals. I'm gonna put a little bit more honey than I would think in here just because that's gonna be a pretty good spoonful. Actually, I wanna grab it again. There we go. So that's about how much honey we're gonna put in there. A little more honey than I would normally eat, okay? So this is gonna spike my sugar a little bit. I'm not gonna put cinnamon in it today. I normally put cinnamon in my desserts. Now we're gonna go for the cacao. And this is where it could be tricky because if you put too much cacao in there, it's, uh, it's not gonna mix well. So this is where you gotta be careful. So I'm gonna put pretty good. Let's see, this is a tablespoon. I'm going to put a heaping tablespoon, and I'm talking heaping, right there. Um, I'm going to put two heaping tablespoons. There we go. Now we're cooking with butter. That's probably going to be a little bit too, um, a little bit on the dry side, but we'll see what happens when it melts. So now that's what we got, and this will go in the air fryer with the residual heat whenever um, the air fryer is done with the bacon and fries. So we're gonna go check on our bacon and fries here. So let's go see what we got going on. So with this thing, you can pause it. So that's the pause button, just like a player. So let's get it some good light here. That's what we're working with so far. So that one I chunked on the top is going to be pretty dry. It's almost done. I'm going to probably pull that one out. And we're going to keep this thing going. So it's, uh, I set it for 20 minutes. We got eight minutes left. This thing's pretty warm. It'll finish cooking. 
we'll just set that over here. We'll just put it on our plate like a normal person. Do we want cheese with this? Of course we do. What are you thinking? So we're gonna get our grass-fed cheese and we're gonna make some happy little cheese here. And this is the um, Kerrygold cheese. And we gotta find our happy little grater, which is hanging up there. I never wash this grater because I'm only grating cheese with it and cheese is mold anyway, so you do the math. I made this song last night as well. And when I say I make this song, it takes a while because you gotta, uh, I don't know if you've ever made music before with music loopers, but you have to learn what each block is on the instrument and then put that in your memory bank. And for me, that's not easy because of short term memory situation. Um, but um, once you got your memory bank going in your own head, then you start recording and you got one chance to do it. It's a little more cheese than I wanted. I guess I got carried away. And then once you make it, once you record it, then I put it on my server and then I master it on the computer. So I make it on a phone. Well, this one I did. I make it on a phone and then I master it on a computer in Adobe Audition. So there's a little inside baseball on how I make music right now. I'm using a music looper program. All right, so let's get over here again. Hi everybody, let's check the chat. All right, so what do we got going on in the chat here? Anybody tearing down the chat? Looking pretty good, got Julie Mumphrey in there. Thanks for the reminder. What did I remind you about, uh, Julie Mumphrey? Let's see, I read Jared's. Uh, what are the dishes you use to put on your burner to warm? Okay. That's a good question. Um, it is, you can, you can only, you can't take a regular, like this is a regular bowl you'd buy at a department store. This stuff will crack, okay? It will shatter. But with, the, with this, let's see if we could turn this over without making a mess. This is the accordingware. So with accordingware, it says corningware on the back. You can put it in your oven, you can put it in a toaster oven, you can put it on top, and it's not gonna crack. So look for corningware. It's uh, a little bit on the pricey side, but it's, it's the only dishes I eat off of because I can eat and cook out of the same thing and I don't have to dirty a separate dish. So normally, you know, you'd be heating up this in a pot or something. Well, you cook and eat on the same dish. And the same way with this. I cook in the toaster oven with this. I'll put this straight in the toaster oven and I'll pull it out and it doesn't crack, it doesn't hurt it. This is also Corningware. Great stuff. So yeah, that's what it is. Look up Corningware. Maybe somebody can put a link in the chat. Maybe I'll have that somewhere in the description. Not sponsored by them at all, Jared. So let's see, let's get some more chat action going here. You're making me hungry again. Well, that's the whole point. Let's see, don't forget to drink some water. That's a good, thank you, because I, I do need some water. That's a good thing. I'm just gonna lean back here and give you an overall view of the setup I've been working on. So, it shows my microphone's a little loud, but I guess the audio's okay. I go back and watch my streams in the evening when I have time to listen to the audio and see what I need to fix, because that's the best way to do it. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the deep freeze, because I want this to be a cold dessert. So when I pour the uh, hot or warm icing on top, I want to chill this afterwards, so we're going to go get get a head start. We're going to go put this in the deep freeze. So let's go to the deep freeze. Put it in there. Okay. 
Never mind that. All right. Let's see. Oh, let me show you something. The neighbors were throwing this away. So I restored it. This is an old fridge. And I restored it and it works good. And it's a backup fridge. And it's got the little freezer thing up top. And I keep it loaded like that to, uh, I, I was doing a, a test because it takes a lot of energy to uh, pull, it takes a lot of power to pull the, uh, the thermal heat or cold out of water. So to heat up water, it takes a while. All right, so let's see what we got going on here with the air fryer. We're gonna pause it and take a look here. That's about, about what you're looking for right there. We had two minutes left. Um, we really don't need that extra two minutes, but we're gonna run it anyway. Why not? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this right in there so it starts heating up. We can go ahead and pre-stir this a little bit to kind of get it started. This is gonna be our icing. And like I said, it might be a little bit on the dry side. I might have to add a little more butter, but I know I'm gonna eat, end up eating the whole thing, so I don't wanna eat too much butter, but I do eat a lot of butter. I go through almost a stick of butter a day to half a stick of one of those. So yeah, this is gonna be a little bit on the dry side, but we'll see once the butter melts. The butter's not completely melted yet. All right. So that's looking like it's a uh, rock and roll there. The bacon's not burned. Yeah. So we're just gonna go ahead and put this down here and that'll be heating up. So we got our dessert heating there. The generator is still running. I'm probably gonna go turn it off because I think we're done there. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the lid on this just to trap a little bit of heat just in case it needs to cook a little more. And this is gonna, yeah, I think we can go turn our, I could turn the air fryer on right now, but it would blow a lot of the chocolate around. And see the whole point of this cooking stream today is to cook off grid. We're cooking on generator power. So that was the whole point. I think what I'm gonna do is stir this up enough to where it's not gonna blow around and we're gonna turn the air fryer on for the last minute, uh, minute and a half that it has here. And I'm probably gonna pull the spoon out because that's gonna be a little bit too hot. I don't know, maybe we can leave it. I can use something. Yeah, this is gonna work. Yep. So this is honey, butter, and organic cacao. Grass-fed butter, the cleanest honey that I could find and source. All right, yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it on now. And we'll have to get a little thing to grab that because it's gonna be pretty warm. And that'll finish heating. I know the side's not on it, but it's still blowing hot air over it. There's a heating element directly over it, so. This is gonna work. We're doing this live. We got one more minute and then we'll go turn the generator off. Like I said, this thing pulls about 1,400 watts. Um, it's not anything for the generator. The generator is 5,000 watt generator with like a 5,500 surge. So yeah, we'll just let that sit there and it's nice and happy. And we'll go ahead and start walking outside. We even got Katie in the chat. Oh, check this out. So Katie, can I tell them what you're doing? So I'll tell them what you're doing if you say yes. Can I tell them what you're working on for me? All right, let's go turn off the generator because by the time we walk out there, it's got 20 seconds left. That'll be plenty good. So let's go turn off the generator. And I would normally turn the generator off with the fuel valve and run the generator out of fuel, but I'm not gonna do that today. So you never wanna let fuel set in your generator. raining now. It 
it's not good to start or stop your generator with load on it. So make sure when you're starting your generator, you don't have any of your loads plugged in that could kick on. And if you saw there, I had a fan uh, beside the generator to blow it, keep it cool, and it keeps the exhaust kind of moving. All right, so Katie, I'll be looking at the chat to see your answer. I can tell them what you're working on for me. And I'm really excited because I saw pictures of it already, and I can't wait to feature it on the cooking hour of the channel. And what she's working on is going to be setting right there to replace this butter dish. So she's working on all kinds of stuff. All right, she says, sure. Okay, yeah. So she's working on a french fry, like she does glass work, and she's working on a french fry spoon holder. She's got several different designs I've seen, and it's gonna sit right here, and that's what's gonna be a spoon holder. And then whatever else she uh, sends me, I'll have it around here as a studio prop. So big shout out to Katie for working on something that's so difficult. I know it's a lot of trial and error, all right, so what are we gonna do here? We want our dessert to be ready. This is still doing some residual cooking. We're gonna get that, so let's get to our dessert now. We need a hot pad maybe. Let's see how hot this thing got. Yeah, that's pretty warm. It's definitely warm. So you never wanna set glass on a cold surface, like metallic, especially when it's hot, it can crack. So even though this is not metallic, I just I always just, it's a habit. So now what, what I wanna do is warm up my plate. So I use this, I can stick it in there and there's still lots of heat in here. This plate will warm up, okay? But I forgot to do something. So we're gonna put something on that. We always use our, oh, and we're out. I'm gonna to have to do a refill. We're, we're doing this live. <laughs> Refill time. All right, here we go. Delay a game. We have to refill our, um, see our stuff here. So we're gonna get this out of the way. So this is nutritional yeast, as you can see. And we're just gonna fill this back up because it's easier to pour out of this than it is the other one. All right, we don't want to spill here. Yeah, I was uh, watching, can somebody put um, crafting and coffees link in the chat? Cause that's what I, I was watching that before I was getting ready for my live stream. And also we the people and Red Cactus, Ride Along Gang, shout out to everybody. That's where I'm at in the morning. As soon as, I, if I can wake up early enough, I'm in a Red Cactuses and We The Peoples. And, and um, so there we go. I'm in their chat rooms. Well, actually I'm not in their chat rooms most of the time because when I'm waking up, I don't want to have my fingers on the keyboard. Um, but if, I, if I'm not too tired, I will jump in the chat like I did this morning. So now we got our nutritional yeast. We're gonna go over here and put it on our happy little plate. And that was the second fail for the uh, camera. So we're gonna put some nutritional yeast on top of this cheese here. And we got this lonely fry. This is that freedom fry, cause it's real lonely. But yeah, it's definitely done. We're gonna go stick it over here with the rest of the family so it's not too lonely. There we go. And now what we're gonna do, is we're gonna put this back here. We're gonna keep the heat trapped in there while our plate's warming. Now we're gonna come over here, and this is still really warm, and we're gonna stir this up. Which is a better angle? That one or this one? I kinda like this view better. Yeah. All right, so it's a lot more liquidy than I thought it was gonna be. This is gonna work. So this is something I just thought up of today. I've been wanting to do something like this, a version of this, but yeah, it's uh, it's going to be perfect. So this is going to be kind of like a Reese's Pieces or a reverse chocolate pie. I don't know. 
It's got peanut butter on the bottom and this is honey. And again, we just got here. It's honey and organic. I'm holding it up to the wrong camera. Second fail, third fail. It's that cacao powder. This stuff's like eight bucks a, a jar, but it's um, very high quality. And it's way better than you get uh, the Hershey's and all that other stuff. I think it's just, there's something about it that's better. And it claims to be organic. All right, coming in hot. We're going to switch the song. Let's do something like, uh, let's see. There we go. You've heard that song before. All right, so that's mixed up pretty decent. Uh, we don't need to add any salt because there's already salt in the peanut butter. So let's go grab our dessert. It's been chilling in the deep freeze and pour this on top and see what we end up with. What do you think? And I also do it in reverse. I never put a cold bowl, even though this is morningware, I never put a cold bowl on a warm surface, whether it's metal or, let's see. That's got pretty good lighting. Yeah, we got our Rubik's cubes there. Cool. So we got our 80s thing going here. So just for fun, let's just see what we're working with here. Oh yeah. That's gonna be some good stuff. Again, all the music you're hearing, I've made with uh, different versions of software and then I master it in Adobe Audition. So everything that you hear has been mastered in Adobe Audition. And if you don't master your music, it just sounds dull. So that's just kind of a little audio tip there if you wanna make your own music. Make sure you master it. And if you don't know what I'm saying about mastering, just there's so many YouTube tutorials about mastering your songs. And it's real easy to master this stuff because I'm not dealing with multiple tracks. I do the pre-mixing ahead of time on the tracks. I almost want to taste the spoon, but I don't. I don't want sugar. Well, it's not sugar. I don't want the honey and chocolate on my palate before I eat the... Uh... Plus, this needs to go back into the... At this point, it could go into the fridge. Um, boy, that's gonna be some good stuff. Bree, do you wanna taste the spoon? <laughs> yeah. This is probably the healthiest dessert that you can make in your house with just three ingredients. It's a three ingredients dessert. It's honey, cacao, and actually it's four, I can't count. Honey, cacao, butter, and peanut butter. And it's grass-fed butter. It's, it's the peanut butter that doesn't have the seed oils in it. It's just got peanut butter and salt. We're making sure we get all of our... I'll leave this out, so. So that's what I ended up with. I cleaned it out pretty good. So this is, the bottom layer is peanut butter. And the top layer is honey, cacao, and butter. And you've seen the butter before. All right, so we're gonna go put this back in the deep freeze. And it was gonna be a chilled dessert. And the top is not gonna to get too hard because it's got the butter in it and the honey. So it's not gonna be where you can't cut into it. The peanut butter will actually get harder than the top. So what do you think? Is that a pretty cool dessert? I'm gonna upload my food bank haul after all this. Food bank haul. So if I'm still live, type one in the chat, just to make sure we're still good. <laughs> Cause you never know. So we're gonna put this back in the deep freeze and then we're gonna check our bacon and home taters. And we're gonna be easing out of the stream. Now I made this song with some different software. All right. 
So we got our air fry. They do stick a little bit. So I'm still alive. Good. That's a bonus. I'm not talking to myself. And I did a, uh, a rookie move. I'm not recording my own stream. I forgot to hit record. So I'm not even going to worry about it right now. So here's what we got. Now let's go get our plate. And we're going to see what we're looking, we're working with here. So the plate's nice and warm. And when I say nice and warm, let's check the temperature. And the temperature gun is right here. It's not a cold plate, so it's it's 99 degrees. The cheese is a little bit cold still, 98. So that's better than a cold plate. It's not going to make the, there's 100. So it's not perfectly hot, but it's pretty good. So now we're going to pull off our bacon. And it's crispy as it can be. See the crispy bacon, how it breaks over. See, songs like this are a little bit distracting because there's so many vocals. So I'm going to... Uh, switch the song thank you all right so we're going to put our fries on top of the see how the fries look look at these look at that oh these are going to be good but guess what i forgot to do what did i forget to do i forgot a step here so i'm going to pull out the ones that are smaller because i'm not going to eat all these that way, when I reheat them, if they still need to cook, there's another little tech tip. If you're making leftovers, whatever you might be working on, making if you know you're not going to eat all of it, you can pull out the smaller ones and you know they're cooked and the ones that are not cooked. But what did I forget to do? Somebody in the chat tell me. I forgot a step here. How much should I have there? So that's on a bed of cheese. Normally you put the cheese on top, but I can just scrape it out of there. We're going to do one more thing here. And that's why I didn't do what I forgot to do. So we're going to put these back in the air fryer. Computer, remind me to take the fries out of the air fryer in an hour. Okay, I'll create a reminder to go off in one hour. All right. So I would normally put some sea salt on there. I'm gonna put a little bit, but not too much. That's what I forgot to do. And I like to put the sea salt right after I pull them out. So the salt still melts. So I'm just gonna put a little here. Whoops, that's more than I wanted. And this is why I don't put much sea salt on it. Because, wait, there's more. If you've ever had the good high quality now there's a lot of companies that make this but if you want some of the best and they're not sponsoring this video I've just gone through a lot of them this is what I found to be the best tasting the best quality and the cleanest ingredients it has hardly anything in it at all it's got um, avocado oil organic eggs organic egg yolks organic vinegar sea salt and organic rosemary extract rosemary extract. So I like to have a little side dip of, of that. Not too much. But just a little like that. That's all you need. Well, maybe a little more. And once you've had it like that with the avocado mayonnaise, you'll never go back. So what do you think about that? Drink water. I just did uh, because which camera am I using <laughs> yeah that was another camera fail you gotta love it all right so that was the uh, little special ingredients that I use so now we have a happy plate we got home fries that are perfectly cooked and they're cooked with the bacon grease on top so they're flavored they're not dry and they're not crispy they're just perfect I mean look at that they just they're perfect look at those little hot rods so I'm gonna be eating that pretty soon um, it's gonna get cold pretty quick I might just eat one on the stream 
I'm going to taste one. Why not, huh? All right, so let's taste this one here. Wow. That's what I'm talking about right there. Look at that one. See, we'll dip that. We'll get a little cheese action going here. A little cheese and the av avocado mayonnaise. That's amazing. Now let's step it up. Let's get some cheese. Home fry. And some bacon. And then dip that a little bit in the avocado mayonnaise. Oh my God. That's amazing. I did all this with the air fryer. It only took 20 minutes to cook it. Less than 20 minutes, I had enough residual heat to melt the dessert icing and to warm the plate. So, air fryers are pretty good to have on grid down situations. So are toaster ovens. Do I have the right camera going? Yep. So are toaster ovens. Because I also cook generator and I use this with the inverter too. I have inverters that will run the toaster oven and the air fryer, uh, modified and pure sine wave. And that's why all these cables were here because I got power running everywhere. Originally, this was my original solar power backups cabling system right there. And I've been adding to it over the years. That black thing has a lot of cabling going in there. I did not run it in the attic. So I'm gonna ease out of the stream. Anybody got any questions? A big shout out to We The People, Ride Along Gang, Red Cactus, Kelly's Crafting, and people that are posting links in the chat. Big shout out to Brett for posting the links to the channel. Um, there's another camera fail switch. So any questions on anything that I've cooked here as far as the ingredients? If not, I'm hungry and I can't wait to eat. <laughs> Jared Allen, it's nice to see everybody hanging out on a Friday with the cooking stream. I wanna do a test. Let's just do one test before the stream's over with. I wanna see how far I can go with the camera and y'all tell me if it worked out okay. Let's see if we can go walk out in the front yard and still hear clean audio and and the video decent. So can you still hear me? You know, it's raining a little bit. Well, I'm not having this. Look at those little happy guys. How's it going, everybody? All right. So did that work? Buffer just outside the door. All right, but I'm still connected. Let's see, overload. Yeah, I didn't think I could go that far away. Burgers and fries tonight for my hubby now. Awesome. So there you go, Monica. Well, love you all. We're gonna be easing out of the stream here. We'll do this again. My schedule is still evolving. I got a ton of video to edit for, edit for somebody else's YouTube channel tonight. Uh, that's what's affecting my YouTube channel is uh, work and any spare time I'm working on other stuff for other people and building out a cooking studio has been taking all of my spare time. But yesterday, if you saw my video that I premiered last night, um, I got the inverter fixed on Rusty Watt. So now the Rusty Watt, which is a 65 Chevy, can run a window unit or uh, the water well. 
and somebody, I think Gerald, thought that I had to put a capacitor on my window units, but I don't have to because these are dual inverter capacitor, uh, dual inverter ACs, LG makes them, I have four of them, and these are DC powered compressors and DC powered fans. It still has 110 power, so you still plug it into 110, but it converts the 110 to DC. So the, the fan motor slowly spins up and the compressor slowly spins up and they max out at like 500 and something watts. It takes about 53 amps. I have a marked uh, DC 12 volt amps to run one of these units. And Rusty Watt, the 65 Chevy can make that easy. So I can run, I'm gonna be running a window unit on some of my other videos, not my cooking videos, off of the 65 Chevy to show you that it can do it. And that inverter I fixed yesterday, and um, I'll be posting shorts on that, the inverter fix. All right, so now we are officially out. See, Jared Allen, wow. All right, cool. No questions in the chat. I got a 3D printer now. It says Patriot Operator. I can make all kinds of gadgets. Yep, uh, Tommy Temper got a 3D printer, and he's having some issues with it. So, yeah. He bought it used. So Chaplin, are you going live next? Who's going live next? You're going at five Eastern. So what time is that? Uh, Chaplin, how many minutes or hours are you gonna be going live from now? Cause I don't do times on stuff very well. And my place is getting cold. All right, so we'll find that in the chat pretty soon. Oh, there is a little delay. All right, love you all. Heading out of the stream. We'll do this again. Uh, my schedule, again, is always gonna be after Kelly's Crafting. So if you don't see me live after Kelly's Crafting, the Crafting Hour with Kelly, uh, can somebody put her link in the chat? That would be great before we sign out. 52 minutes, okay, so Chaplain Jethro is gonna be live in 52 minutes and he just put his link in the chat. So go check him out. And Jared Allen says, Bree wants to be your camera gal. Yeah, I know that would be nice, but it would have to be somebody, um, that would have to be logged into my computer remotely and then know which camera I needed to switch to. I was just joking about that, but yeah, that would be fun. Yeah, gotcha. 52 minutes, I think that's it. All right, well, we're gonna do this right now. And remember, your health is your wealth. So do your best not to harm yourself in the kitchen. Blankets, sir.